anyway so that was our tennis stuff moving on from tennis th- we haven't spoken about the ipl and i think this was the this was uh, perhaps an ipl a 10 team ipl after some time i think there was once before but then those two teams got uh, cancelled out so now this is another 10 team ipl uh, with two new entries uh, with lucknow and gujarat and we have gujarat i think their their full full form is gujarat titans they have won the ipl uh, it's their first ever ipl and they won the ipl and we have hardik pandya as captain and they've honestly i think i think they've they've been exceptional in their group stages also they were winning like almost every single game i think they ended up first in the group and then they went on to win the ipl um uh, and we have the the giants of the ipl in terms of csk mumbai indians and kolkata knight riders who are perhaps the teams who have won the most ipls or or have and or have also made it to the most finals who were absolutely rotten this season they just got like demolished i think they finished last three on the table they just didn't have a good ipl but yeah we will probably have a more in depth ipl episode coming uh very soon but just to briefly touch upon uh mazar your thoughts on the performance of lucknow and gujarat who obviously have performed very well but if you have any stand out players let us know and quick brief thoughts on why do you think csk mumbai indians or kkr had such a like bad season firstly gujarat i think it's it's rare shubham that the team that finishes first in the table wins the ipl so I had my doubts because Gujarat finished first if they'll pull it off but credit where it's due Ashish Nehra was their head coach or whatever bowling coach or I think head coach but the point is <laughs> Nehra led Gujarat to the IPL title in their maiden year I I mean you can't write this right like I swear credit to Pandya as well he was consistent 50 after 50 after 50 played well i'm not sure about what he what impact he had as a captain on the pitch because he had senior players supporting him but david miller man i thought he was washed up i'll be honest i thought he was done and when gujarat bid for him and his price went up i was shocked i was like why him he's he's had a torrid time in the ipl in the last 3 4 seasons wasn't performing wasn't delivering i really thought he'll go unsold and he made me bite my words for sure a uh, amazing performance all around shubman gill i think deserves a lot of credit i th- all successful teams in t20 cricket need an opener who performs on a regular basis in their own way keeps the scoreboard ticking doesn't lose his wicket is there through the power play all the time he was consistent in that sense he's not a slogger he plays cricketing shots but he doesn't really play slowly as well he he was striking at over 120 on a regular basis and being an opener against some of the world's top bowlers is hard especially at that young age of 22 23 so i think he did a phenomenal job so all around i think gujarat just their strength and depth in batting carry them and then when you have rashid khan as your spinner i go <laughs> the team was too strong gujarat did amazingly well in the auctions and i think the owners deserve credit in that sense for finding the right people and making a team not you know, just the owners? finding individuals uh i'm not sure okay. but i also don't care <laughs> <laughs> to be honest no but it's a lot of things like i think ownership in the ipl is important simply because you are the ones putting in the money so at the end of the day yes you leave the coaches to do the bidding but it's you are the one who also has to green light the signing right to approve that x or y is worth 12 crores 15 crores or whatever it may be yeah that's where i think mumbai flop majorly mumbai put all their eggs in one basket being the one the only jofra archer now i understand why they took that gamble because they wanted to have the two best bowlers in the game spear heading the attack in bumra and archer the problem is archer is barely ever fit so i don't have a problem with you taking a gamble on that but they left everything for the end moment for archer and that cost them also they overpaid for ishan kishan majorly 
I don't think they needed to be that desperate to retain him. I I think he still has a long way to go in terms of his international career. I also think that yes, I know he was the under nineteen captain, and he's had a few good performances for India, but it's a whole different ball game when you have a price tag attached price tag attached to you. Uh, subconsciously, even if it doesn't matter to him, subconsciously it definitely affects you. He was the most expensive pick this IPL. That he flopped. Mumbai altogether flopped because they. I don't think they had a strong enough team. It was literally just Surya Kumar Yadav who was performing regularly. Rohit Sharma historically has not been great in the IPL, so it doesn't help. He's a great captain, a great leader in that sense. I think he knows how to set fields. I think he makes good bowling changes. So I think Mumbai flopped because of that. Additionally, KKR and Chennai. I think Chennai were unfortunate and unlucky. What happened was Devin Conway didn't play the first few games of the season. Actually, half of the se- more than half of the season because I think because of his marriage. I would only want to assume that was the reason he didn't play. And the other problem was their two strike bowlers were injured. So De- Deepak Chahar was out throughout, leading wicket taker for them. Then Adam Milner, who was their expensive buy as well, and a and a proven fast bowler in the T20 format, he was injured too. So they didn't have those replacements. So then they always struggled in the bowling department. They also let go of Shardul Thakur because the bids went too high. So I think that cost Chennai the bowling department. Uh and for KKR, I never thought that they were also... They looked a very disjointed side. I didn't think they did well in the auctions as well. Because again, Gujarat and Lucknow did very well in terms of the auctions. So two teams having such a strong lineup meant that two, te- two other teams had to suffer. And I think Mumbai and KKR were on the receiving end in terms of that. So all in all, the IPL was not a great spectacle this time according to me because a lot of the games were one-sided uh, and I think that's something th- and that was simply because two teams are way too strong and the middle of the pack some of the teams were good RCB were decent but again never really up to that level Delhi underperformed this time so yeah uh, and you know, Shubham, both of us sitting here and including Gui and Krishnan were not the biggest IPL fans. So, it was hard to watch, to be honest. But uh, I do definitely have to say that I was amazed by Gujarat. I, I was impressed by them. And yeah, let's see what happens next year. 